Welcome back to Motoblade, guys. Today we are going to install the Rurock Shockwave in the Atlas 4.0 helmet. Easy install, only going to take a few minutes, don't need any tools, and everything you need comes in the little Shockwave kit from Rurock. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is prep our helmet. Easiest way to do this is just take out both side cheek pieces from the beginning. The first thing you'll do is unbuckle your fit lock. You'll then grab the cheek piece here at the back where it meets the neck roll and pull straight out. You'll then unhook the cheek piece from the neck roll like that. Go to the front where your chin curtain is and pull the corner of your chin curtain straight out and then pull your cheek piece straight out. There's one more button up in here and just pop the cheek piece away from the side of the helmet to release it. And then pull your strap out through the hole. Same with the other side, go to the back first, pop it out, remove the neck roll connecting piece. Go to the front, pull the chin curtain forward, slide this forward and out like that, and then just separate it from the wall of the helmet. There we go. Both cheek pieces out. We can now access the inside of our helmet. Inside of our shockwave kit, we have the actual Bluetooth speaker module, or the amplifier itself with the controls, a USB-C charging cable for fast charging, speaker for one side, and speaker with attached microphone for the other side for making intercom calls or phone calls. The speaker with the microphone attached is going to go on the right side of the helmet. There's a spot behind where the strap connects, there's a piece of Velcro. Just place your speaker on it. There's already Velcro on the back of the speaker, so it goes in place. Up near the front, near the chin, there's another piece of Velcro already attached to your helmet. Go ahead and take the microphone and place it on there. And that secures everything on the right side. The last thing we need to do is plug this into the helmet there's already internal wiring in your helmet with a plug right back here. We take this cable and pop it straight in. Right side is done. Left side, just as easy. Find that Velcro back behind the chin strap. Place your speaker on it. And with no microphone to worry about on this side, all we have to do is plug in our connecting cable speaker right there. Once that's in, you can go ahead and reinstall your cheek pieces. The last thing we need to do is install the actual Bluetooth module. It goes in the back of the helmet. What we do is we just press down right here on the piece that's on your helmet already. And it's held in with magnets. So if we push down at the back edge, it'll flip up. We can pull that out. You can save it if you ever want to take this out or you can discard it, but set that aside. Inside of here, there are two wires. Gently pull both of them out so you can grab them. First wire we'll connect is this little gold one. Can't get them mixed up. They're very different connectors on the bottom, so pretty self-explanatory which one goes where. Push it in hard. You'll hear it click. Grab your other wire from in here. Second wire is just a headphone jack. That pops into the bottom. Very carefully start to push this back down in there. If it starts to bind up, pull it back out. Maybe twist your wires a little bit, push it back in gently. You don't want the wires to bind on the way in. Push it all the way down till it's firmly seated. Those are fairly strong little magnets in there, so it'll stay perfectly in place, no problem. The first time you turn it on, you press this button right here. 
and this will start flashing back and forth blue and red, blue and red, when you're ready to pair. I had already paired it to my phone to test it and make sure it was good. So first time you turn it on, it'll pair to your phone or whatever you have in pairing mode. Volume up, down, skip songs, and then right here in the middle, when you need to charge, you just pull this cover back and you have a port for your USB-C cable. The USB-C cable they include is pretty nice actually. It's a braided cable, good quality, probably the best charging cable I've had come with any device I've really ever had. So decent cable supplied by Rurock. So that's it guys. Your Rurock Atlas Shockwave is installed in your Shockwave 4.0. I have tried this in the helmet, put it on, tried out the audio. Super loud, probably the best quality and loudest in helmet sound system I've ever had. Paired with the quietest helmet ever, that I've ever used at least, I think the audio quality is gonna be great going down the road. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions, let me know down below. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I do gear reviews, installs, motorcycle test rides, and moto vlogs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time, ride safe, ride on. I'll catch you all in the next video. Later.